ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and the day that unfortunately you, did, you didn't really see how excited I was about it because unfortunately my laptop crashed last night which meant I didn't edit the vlog which means I had to put an earlier pre-recorded video of me driving a LaFerrari. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that video. I thoroughly enjoyed filming it and today I am super dressed up as is Sam <laughs> for Goodwood Revival. We're here with Michelin and we're going to be going down. We're dressed in the 1940s to 1960s. Unfortunately, I didn't really get the dress code and I've come as an Italian mafia. <laughs> and Sam's going to come as a wedding man. I'm good to the wedding. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to jump on a coach and then head over and see some of the sort of cars that goes on. Apparently, Goodwood Revival is an amazing event. I've never been before. So let's see what goes on. What? Where's my wife? This is, the, this is the part of the video where it turns sepia and gl glitches <laughs> yeah, out a little bit. Really we, we, we've arrived in the 1940s, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the cars didn't make it in, unfortunately. The uh, radiators, obviously, because that don't handle it. We've got some miners over here. Look at this. We are, um, yeah, back in the olden days. I wonder whether they've heard of an iPhone. Um, there it is, that was called Motor Show. That was called Motor Show. You wouldn't know, but that was a very famous racing driver that we just walked past. That was called cool. what? We just walked past a very famous racing driver. Ah, amazing. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> so we're immediately making a beeline for the modern Ferraris. <laughs> yeah. so There's a 488 GTB, uh, a LaFerrari, an Enzo, a 519 GTO. We're going to have a look at them. F40, F50. F yeah, but they're too old. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 here it is. This is the room to be in. Are they racing these cars? <laughs> <laughs> no, neither do I. <laughs> there are some awesome Ferraris here. But there is a... I know it's an Adam. It's a Vauxhall Adam. Is this the Vauxhall Adam off-road, uh, all-road version? Some serious classics. There's a 512 Boxer, 288 GTO, Testarossa, F50. I have not seen one of these in ages. Oh no. The first casualty that we've seen on the flatbed that has been bent. We are now just going to go for a wander and what I would advise you do is just look behind at some of the outfits because if I walk around with a camera pointing outwards and people try to avoid it. So what we're going to do is just walk. Hopefully you'll get to see some of the outfits that are here because it is seriously impressive. How Definitely much effort characters. Some of these, some of these go. Another tea as well. Like the version of Ace Cafe out the front. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on at the moment, so I'll just let the camera roll and um, let me know what you think of it. This is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> How'd you get in? You have to walk around the bikes. I think we've come in the wrong way for one. Oh, 
<laughs> Surprising how much they've got, seeing as they were in rations during this yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. We're now making our way up to the pavilion rooftop, I think it's called. I may have just made that up. We've got some pretty awesome cars coming. Or not. <laughs> so lunch has finished and my belly is full. We have got a mission on our hands. As you can see, we're in the car park. And what are we doing in the car park, Sam? Trying to find some modern cars. <laughs> <laughs> so as you would have seen from the last clip, it's very windy here. Um, the Shelby Daytonas have been cruising around the track and now there's a bit of a break on the race circuit. So we are going to try and filter through all of these cars. What have you seen? Nothing here. Oh, we're going to try and filter <laughs> Where are you going? through these cars to try and find something a little bit exciting while nothing is going on on the track. We have found probably the best car that we've seen in this car park. This is a really nice spec SLS. I actually quite like this from the Netherlands. We've got dark, dark, dark wheels. They're not black, but they're dark. It's got tan interior as well. Really nice. Oh, it's got Acropovic exhausts. Woohoo! Well, this would look to be the public car park that is. Oh, that's, that's very nice. Yeah. The ROSS, the green yeah. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought you were looking, pointing at the. Nardo Grey Merch. Nardo Grey. Woo! Porsche. A Ford Mustang. Some old cars, an old Bentley, I know that because of the badge. And a Bristol 2 litre. Oh, that's, that hasn't got a badge, I don't know what that is. It's not a lot of old cars. Ferrari. So we are in a car park full of slightly better cars than were before. I found a white Alfa Romeo 4C. <laughs> Sam's, found a, Sam's found a challenge for Dali. Apparently there's a 4C. That, that part is also a V12S. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so this is vastly better. I'm gonna go and show you guys the white Alfa Romeo 4C. What else is there around? Not too much, but I found a 4C better than Sam's. Look at the wheels, I like the wheels actually. Ooh, interesting number plate position. Interesting front number plate position. What you can hear is a bunch of Ford GTs and Lolas driving around. They sound amazing. So me and Sam are heading up on the uh, start-finish grid to catch them driving around. Look at There's just noise everywhere. doing now is we are trying to find a good location on the first corner trying to get some overtaking action some late braking potentially some flames because all these old cars flame like instantly which is uh <laughs> instantly. <laughs> they turn in on inst flame. instantly just burst into flames yeah, yeah flame ball everywhere <laughs> We thought it was going to be an exciting race of cool cars has turned out to be more of a, a cruise. It's a convoy. Demonstration lap. It's a convoy. It's a convoy. <laughs> it's a convoy around a circle. <laughs> so I have finally returned to the nuke 
and I'm heading home. I've got about an hour and a half journey back home. And listen to this. So yesterday I was out for dinner with Michelin. It was a fantastic evening. Wake up, well, went to bed at about midnight. Wake up at about six o'clock in the morning, ready for the day. It is now six o'clock in the evening. I've got an hour and a half drive. Then when I get home, I've got about an hour to edit two videos, one, well, this video is one of them, and then tomorrow's video, which is going live tomorrow. So I've edited both of those two videos in about an hour, and then I'm jumping back in this car and up towards Lincolnshire area uh, to spend the weekend with my dad, which means there's absolutely zero signal, zero Wi-Fi. So I'm having to do all of the YouTube editing and uploading whilst I am back quickly and briefly in Watford. So I've got a long, long journey ahead of me. I'm not gonna vlog it all. And I think I'm just gonna end the video now and just try and get ahead as much as possible. I will sign off now and hopefully you have enjoyed this, well, the snippets from Goodwood Revival that I was able to film. It was a fantastic event. The atmosphere was amazing that there were so many people dressed up. That was probably the coolest aspect of it. The old cars, if you like old cars, they're brilliant. But to me, I much prefer the more modern stuff. So overall, I really enjoyed the day. I thought it was really cool, but just purely because everyone dressed up and it was a really good atmosphere and everyone was really in high spirits and it was lovely weather. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please make sure that you subscribe to Supercars of London and watch the videos either side of this because we've got LaFerraris, we've got Lamborghinis. It is crazy at the moment. So um, thank you for watching and thank you for, su for supporting. As always, I will see you tomorrow for a tour, interior and exterior, of my new Lamborghini LP560, which I hope is a good video because I haven't edited it yet. So we'll see. Cheers, guys.